Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. So in today's video, we're gonna take you through the full CAN test. Now the purpose of this test is to look for pathology of the supraspinatus tendon and or muscle. We'll go through more detail about that later. One thing just to point out, we're gonna do the test on our patient's left arm, but consider that in practice, you will always want to compare it to the right arm as well. So let's go through the test. We're gonna take our patient's arm to a 90 degrees flex position, and then we're gonna take it out into the scaption position. We're gonna make sure that the thumb is facing the ceiling as the patient would do if they were holding a full can of drink, for example. The uh, therapist then puts one hand on the radius to provide a resistance to the movement. The other hand can be rested on the scapula for some support. We're then gonna ask our patient to lift up towards the ceiling against our resistance. We're gonna ask them to push up, push up, push up, and relax. So what are we looking for in this test and what's a positive result? So as we said, it's to do with the supraspinatus muscle or tendon. A positive result might be pain on the test, which may indicate a supraspinatus tendinopathy. The test may also demonstrate a significant weakness of the left arm compared to the right. And if it does, this may indicate a supraspinatus tear or the other consideration is a suprascapular nerve palsy because it is that nerve which innervates the supraspinatus muscle. So just another point to mention about this test, which is that in clinical practice, we find that clinicians don't use it as frequently as it may have been used in the past. And the reason for this is because it has been found to be less effective in actually diagnosing a supraspinatus tendinopathy or a tear for a couple of reasons. First of all, we find that it's commonly painful for a variety of patients. Those who have a supraspinatus tendinopathy and those who don't still get aggravated with this test. Furthermore, um, there's lots of other reasons that the test might show up pain or in, uh, in particular a weakness, as we mentioned, the suprascapular nerve. It could also be a long thoracic nerve palsy. And also it would be very irritable for patients with a cervical spine radiculopathy. So this is reflected in the sensitivity and specificity values that you'll see coming up on the screen now. 